Let me give you a simple matter of DRC. If you flew low uh, over the DRC, you're gonna see tarmacs in the jungle that go nowhere. You will see flights, 747s, flying into the jungle, picking up minerals and leaving. Those are multinationals that are benefiting from the instability. They will make sure that there is a constant supply of guns, that there is no peace in the DRC. Because when the DRC becomes stable, they will no longer be able to exploit the DRC. So let's understand our problems for what they really are. So the multinationals that are exploiting Africa, they are keeping the conflict going. The minister was attacking the French because of the issue of migration into Italy. He said, the issue is not the migration and unemployment of the youth, but rather it is what France is doing to those countries. You know what 14 countries could do with 500 billion? Do you know what countries those countries could do if those businesses in those countries could be allowed to own or get the contracts? This is how you address the unemployment. Do you know what could happen if we were to be allowed to have control of our natural resources? <laughs> All those basics are taken away from us. And then what's left is what we have to try to work with. So my point is, until those basics are addressed, until France stops exploiting those 14 African countries, the majority are the ones you mentioned, conflict then follows. Are you getting my point? We have to address the basic issues. We can't worry about why are you unemployed. You are unemployed because the companies, local companies, are not being given the opportunity to build their countries. French companies are bringing their own workers. We are creating jobs for the world and not for the Africans because of the systems that are in place. So we can worry about uh, the, the, the results of, but the main issues must be addressed. France must stop colonizing Africa. Germany, Italy, Belgium, Britain, they are still very much involved in Africa. 75% of the natural resources being traded at the London Stock Exchange today are from Africa, owned by companies that go back to colonization. We have no control of our Africa. And until we have control of our Africa, they are the ones creating the conflict. To answer your other question, what is the African Union doing about the CFA? Let me tell you, the truth of the matter is, over the past, uh, since uh, 58 and on, there have been about 65 coups in Africa. None of them were of African origin. None. Seven are documented. They were orchestrated by France. Why? Because the African leaders wanted to pull out of the pact for the continuation of colonization. The French would not have it. There was a coup and the leader was assassinated, sending a message to the other leaders that if you misbehave, this is your fate. Now they don't do coups. What they're doing is causing conflict. Something as simple as, you know, most of those countries, close to 50% of their food comes from France. If you start misbehaving and you don't play ball with France, they start cutting out aid, they stop sending you food. Before you know it, the locals are complaining. The locals are complaining, not really understanding the real issues as to why the conditions in your country are what they are. So I go back to saying, let's begin to understand the real issues to do with our country and not get stuck in uh, the results of these other situations that need to be addressed. Because until they are addressed, the conflict situation, the poverty will drive people into uh, the situations that we see today in Africa.